Hey guys, it's Cody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to try a new thing in this video where I speak a little quieter. I noticed that well, many people have told me, and it, it's like for everyone in my family, we all talk like really loud, and I want to be able to film my videos without everyone having to hear it. So I, um, I'm going to try to keep it at this level. I practiced in an Instagram live video last night, and by the end of it, I was like talking normal and shouting. So it's forcing me to like kind of be <laughs> just bring it down a notch. Be quiet. It's like a lot. It's like a very conscious effort. So I hope that everyone can hear me all right. Sometimes I watch these things back, and I have like little errors that like I didn't notice when I was filming it. Like last time, my lips were off from the from the sound. So one time, like the whole thing went black, and I didn't even see it. So things like that happen. So, uh, but a good thing is, is that I can edit the volume up a little bit. Anyways, let's get into what I'm talking about in the video today because I feel so uncomfortable. Oh, this thing that I've been wanting to share with people, I think that my lips are doing that thing again. Sorry about that. My video, like, cut out the words, started not matching my lips, and it started to, like, freeze up. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. But anyways, I want to get to what I'm talking about in this video because I feel so uncomfortable. Like, I know the last, <laughs> nothing can top the last video as far as like inappropriate or uncomfortable or like um, shock, fa shock factor, but this strange addiction that I have, I just have to share it. And it's so weird because it's actually, it sounds silly, but it's like actually a problem. So I have a, my, my strange addiction or this thing that I've noticed has become like, well, I noticed it was a problem about two years ago. And I somehow managed to pull back, but the last couple of days, probably like the last like week especially, I noticed that it's starting to return and I'm kind of getting into it again. So... What it is, is I have an obsession with making music playlists. Like, I am obsessed with curating the perfect playlist for any and every event. I've been doing this since I was, like, in high school. And, like, those times were way different. So, like, the whole process was different than it is now. Like, then I would have to go through, like, I would either have to, like, buy music CDs and, like, upload them to my computer and like make like a playlist and like burn a CD and I would make it for a friend or to listen to in the car or whatever it may be or um you know or if like I wanted to find a song that if I heard a song that I really liked I would have to like remember part of the song and then search it search for it online if I didn't know it and like try to um try to download it somehow and now it's gotten it's so much different with Spotify and Shazam. Like, I literally can, like, grab any song that I want and I can add it to a playlist automatically. So this thing that I used to do as a kid, like, I wanted to do it as an adult. Like, I thought um, I wanted to be, like, a DJ maybe or, like, I, like I'm upset. Like, <laughs> the perfect job for me would be, like, making, like, finding the music that play and, um, like, like the mall or restaurants or these different places like mood music like I'm obsessed with mood music so just like whatever whether it's like tropical house or house chill or you know the disco whatever style I've got to play this so I noticed a, a couple years ago with my last roommate that it was he helped me realize what a problem it had become because I was getting so obsessive making the playlist that I would spend hours in my room. And at first, like, I noticed my roommate's addictive um, habit, which is playing video games. Like, he would play video games, like, for, you know, maybe like six hours a day. Or And then I remember this one time that he had told me that his total video game usage had for the week was like 24 hours. 
And he was like, oh my God, that's crazy. And I remember thinking like, that's crazy. Like you like are playing way too much video games. Like he could still goes out and does things. He's got like a job and he's like productive and whatever. But it's even actually turned into like a lucrative thing for him. But like I noticed, I compared my music addiction to, oh, I started to see the similarities. I was like, you know, like, I guess my, like, I don't really play video games. What I do is, like, I go, I, like, deep dive into music. Like, you know, listen to music all the time. I invest, like, I invest in good speakers and a good sound system because that's what I do. Like, I love music. I like discovering new artists. I get into the music blogs. I like, you know, listening to full albums. I like, you know, obscure, you know, obscure music and... And, you know, so a couple, like about a, you know, a year or two, I know, I know that I was doing it two years ago, but like maybe, you know, somewhere in this like time frame, I realized that like, I, I would like blow up. I would be late to things because I couldn't stop looking for music or I couldn't stop trying to get every song right on the playlist, you know, um, for example, I remember going, I'll go into like a, I'll go into like a year of music. Like, like one of my favorite years of music is like 2009. I might have like three 2009 playlists where it's just like all of the songs I love from 2009. And then it's like all of like, and then I've got one with like all of my favorite songs from 2009. And then I got like a song, a playlist with like all of like, just like the bangers from 2009 that I would put on like, you know, you know, an appropriate, an appropriate time for an appropriate party that, uh, so I have, like, let me go to my hand dandy notebook, um, I wrote it down somewhere, I thought I had it marked, and then I didn't, so I'm so unprepared today for, like, everything in life, that everything in life is thrown at me, um, so I have it written down, I don't remember what I wrote down, but it's, like, 300 and 84 or 364 playlists, active playlists that I have in my iTunes library. And it's actually on my 2019 goal list to go through my iTunes library and delete some of these playlists and like narrow it down. Because then it's like, I'm like hoarding them. Like I've collected like, oh my God, don't even get me started on like downloading and trying to keep up with new music. Like Spotify has totally taken away my job. Like, it does it and does it better. Like, I'll, like, have, like, my perfect playlist playing, and then my playlist will end, and I won't realize it, and then this, the next song will come on, and I'm like, oh, my God, what song is this? It's perfect for my playlist. And then I realize that Shazam did what I do. It's, like, playing something that sounds like my music. You know, or not Shazam, Spotify. You know, it's playing something that sounds like my music that would be on my playlist. It's, like, making a suggestion. And I'm like, ah! I don't know if it's like people who are doing the, these playlists for um, Spotify and these like rec recommended artists and songs, or if it's like people that gather it, but like, let me in on that. Then all of these hours that I've dedicated, like won't be a total loss and it won't be like, like a hobby that is like, you know, really actually just turning into an addiction. Right. So I feel like my words are not matching up again, but anyways, I guess that's like my strange addiction. Um, before I end this video, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna share. I had this hookup coming over one time, and he was into like rap music. So I was like, okay. I jumped on like, you know, like earlier in the day, and I spent like four hours making a rap CD. I mean, a rap playlist, and it had like 68 songs, and it was just like whatever. So he came on, and I turned it on, and then he wanted to change it, and then I she saw all my playlists, and none of them made sense, and he was so confused, and he thought I was like so weird. And he was just like, yeah, like, um, how do I find anything on here? And I was like, because I always find the music I want to listen to by using my playlist. But it's pretty bad when you spend five hours when you get off of work, you know, staying up late <laughs> when you shouldn't be, or a whole weekend trying to make one playlist, or you have multiple playlists going at one time, or you've got, like, lists in your notebook of ongoing playlists to put to make, you know, you know, or you have like a playlist of songs that can be added to playlists that need songs. So like I'm telling you, this shit is crazy. I also 
I'm not currently yet um, spending a ton of money on music because I not only have the Apple and Spotify premium accounts, but I still buy like music on iTunes because I like to like own it and I like to have it in my iTunes library so I can access it at any time reg regardless if I miss a payment or if I'm on like a plane and or have no internet access or whatever. So, um, yeah, if you would like, if someone would make me feel bad about my strange addiction, I, I don't, I've never heard of this before. I've met people who, you know, might like the same obscure music that I do or spend a ton of time, you know, listening to music or, you know, DJing or, you know, versions, but I've never seen or, you know, see or heard anything like this. So, like I said, if you do this, let me know for sure. I will be reading all of the comments. And if you just have a strange addiction that would comfort me on some level, please also share. And as always, have an awesome week. And I hope that you come back for the next video. All right. See you guys. Oh my God. I didn't raise my voice the whole time.